Who is Slender Man? Where'd he come from? What does he want? Not many people can answer those questions or would attempt to try. Not many people know the answers to those questions. Not many people want to do the research to find out. Through my looks and studies, Slender Man has been around longer than most people would expect. And it dates back as far as the 16th century. And his legend is very vivid. He's had very many names. There's very many tales. But one of the most common ones I found was a German tale of the legend of de Grasman, which translates as the tall man. And the tale goes, there was once a man who was viciously tortured during a dispute between him and his family over his children. And as a result, they, would, they took him outside, beat him to death with large logs, then skewered his dead body onto a tree branch, and also amputated his arms and legs, and left him there to hang with a sign. And from that, he roams the earth seeking for justice for what is done to him. He would also abduct naughty children and also the wrongdoers as in adults and older than 16. The children he would devour. And for the older ones, he typically would take you into the woods and be tied up ask you a question. The question would be something relevant to what you have done, or what you have done, and or something you've never owned up to that was wrong. The way it would happen is, if you answered truthfully and actually meant it from your heart, you would allow you to leave. But for penance, you would break your arms and both your legs, and then allow you to leave. On the other hand, if you did not answer out of sheer fear of what was going on, or didn't answer truthfully, he would take his extra appendages, reach down your throat, and pull out your heart. Hopefully that kept your attention. His big debut was in 2009, when he swept the internet sensation. 1953, the Henderson Horse Farm in Tryon, Polk County, North Carolina, was the crime scene of what Ted Henderson had said was the attack of Skinny, another name for the Slender Man. June 15th, neighbors called police, complaining of hearing screams and sounds of gunfire. As the police arrived at the Henderson home, they found Mr. Henderson cradling his wife with a shotgun hole through her. Officers asked Ted Henderson where his six-year-old daughter, Tracy Henderson, was, but no answer came. Officers to this day have not yet found Tracy's body. Gotcha. June 1st, 1986, in Sterling County, California, Mary Thomas, a local photographer, was taking pictures at a local playground. On the same day, 14 children went missing. One week later, Mary Thomas herself disappeared. Photos she had taken showed a figure near the missing children that could not be explained. Five months later, the body of one of the children, four-year-old Joseph Partman, was found in a state of bizarre contortion in the Great Swamp Nature Preserve in Kingston Falls, New Jersey. The rest of the bodies have yet to be found. Okay, we're recording now. Thomas, would you like to start from the beginning? Am I? Yes, Thomas, you're safe. Now, can you start from the beginning so that we may try to understand the events that happened? Okay. My, my daughter, Jessica, 
she had been outside playing at a friend's house, and we only lived up the street. No, they they actually only lived up the street. I'm sorry. Um, it had started. It started to get dark out, and I had called her friend's parents that she needed to get home. They told me that she left over a half hour ago. Well, they're only a five minute walk away, so I. Is this where you left the house looking for? Yes. Um, we live in a wooded area, and I knew she liked playing there with friends, but going alone didn't make sense. Okay, so what happened next? I was calling Jessica's name, and it had been really getting dark out now. I was walking through the woods, looking and listening to anything. I remember suddenly feeling sick, like nauseous in the stomach, like I wanted to throw up. And I started getting ringing in my ears. Then I... Thomas? That thing! That nightmare! <laughs> no, it! Jessica's clothes. One of its. One of its hands. <laughs> you do. It's okay. Can you can you please describe what he looked like? It was tall. It it appeared to be wearing a suit, but it, there's no way it was human. There's no way. <laughs> the. The arms are almost to the ground. I, I, I I've, ne I've never seen anything like it. it it's, it's, it's okay, Thomas. You can continue. That horrible fucking face, just staring at me. But no, there was no face. There was no eyes. What did I say? Thomas, please call me. No. No! I fucking saw you, son of a bitch! It took my Jessica! It's now coming for me! I can't sleep! I can't live! You don't know! You don't know! Oh God! Oh God! Thomas, calm it's down! down. Ah! It's right there! You need your pain, Hold, ah! oh, hold, it's right ah! Hope I didn't scare y'all too bad, because to my conclusion of what I believe in is I don't believe he's a slender man, because for one, there's no origin of where it started. No one can have a, there's no set story where it all began. There's a bunch of stories here, a bunch of stories there, a bunch of stories there, but none of them have an origin. So it's hard to believe in something that you can't even research or even find out where it came from. So you guys can go home. Don't be scared. Slender Man's not real. Y'all good. But, uh, everything else, watch out for.